Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Chris with the CRC, hope you're all doing well, thank you very much for obviously for watching all the videos guys, really appreciate all the support. Busy morning to this morning, uh, we're just sewing up the rest of the TTO2 build, I'm going to dive down on the table and show you uh, basically what I've got planned. A little bit of a change from what I initially said but there's a couple of reasons really because uh, mainly money and stuff like that and I, I'm... I did a bit of a deal uh, with a friend of mine to get the rest of these parts in the TTO2 and I've also picked up something else. Now I'm not going to show you there's something else for the moment, um, all right, because that is going to be a little bit of a surprise for the channel. But uh, I'm going to dive down on the table, I'll show you what I'm putting in and we'll go from there. As you can see we got the TTO2 stripped down, um, it is a little bit busy by here at the moment. Um, guys, what I've decided to do, all right, is as much as I wanted to run the hobby wing in there, um, I've decided to basically just put a brush motor in here. Now, the, part of the reason is pure and simply because of money. Um, I don't want to bite off more than I can chew at the moment. I've got loads of different projects going on. So I think really with this car, brushed is going to be enough. We're going to run it on 2S anyway. Um, um, when I first started the, ch uh, the channel, I actually had a Vortex Boost, and in that was this 12-turn armor motor, as you can see, all right, and also this Spectrum All-in-One ESC, and as well with that was the SLT2. Now, part of the deal I've done with the other car, um, and thank you uh, to my friend Owen Davis uh, for getting this sorted out. I previously sold this to him um, because he was going to upgrade one of his cars. It now turns out that he wants to change his car. And long story short, I've decided to have that car. And he's also given me back these electronics. So I'm going to pop this into this build. Um, I think really it'll be more than enough. What I did have to do, mind, is get the Dremel out. Because the, um, the motor shaft coming out of the motor was a bit too long and it was just rubbing on the edge of the case so i've dremeled down and basically cleared that off there um i don't think it's going to be very fast the way it is uh, you know obviously we are going to be running on 2s but um i don't think that's really where i want to go with it um the other things i did do off camera i fitted some year racing adjustable turn buckles and um, we also put the low friction um, suspension balls in as well, top and bottom on the front, to just get rid of any slop. There is still some slop in there, mind, I'll be honest with you. But I, I've got a feeling that's just a TTO2. Um, so, what I'll do now is start sewing this all up. And fingers crossed, um, if I spot anything while I'm putting it back together, I'll let you know. But I think what we'll do is we'll save the hobby wing possibly for another little thing. Um, project and we'll go for me guys but uh, uh just getting there now as you can see we've mounted the esc slash receiver there's two in one on top but there the reason being is i can't actually get it behind this motor what i am going to do though i'm just warming up the soldering iron now um i'm actually going to tidy up some of this wiring so what i'll probably do here is just put the wire in straight to the motor um, to get rid of all this, these gammy connectors and you know basically just tidy it all up a bit but um, yeah coming together nicely now uh, uh, soldering's been done a uh, lot neater has to soldered directly to the ESC you now um, steering's all in batteries are going to use are these Z's uh, only reason being um, they, they've got a XT60 on there I didn't really fancy what, uh, doing any Dean's connectors or, you know, changing a few bits over just to get it to all to work. So, long short, we've ended up with those. But, uh, yeah, steam is nice and fast. And also, I don't know if I could just show... Oh, no, I can try it this way. There should be plenty of wheel speed, really. Um, but yeah, so far so good. So we've come to Garth Park uh, basically to give the Tamiya TT02 its first run. As you can see, all sat out there looking pretty. Um, massive thanks to everyone who's helped out actually getting this build together. We're going to be using the tarmac section um, here because basically I know it's nice and flat, so it should be decent. 
Um, I've only gone with brushed electrics in here, pure and simply because that's what I had on hand. And uh, yeah, it was uh, basically too pretty. <laughs> too pretty to, to make it look ugly, if that makes sense. But um, got a couple of light bulbs in here. I'm going to dive down on the car and quickly show you as, you, as I showed you. Cap, what I've done to this all, all in total. Uh, we got the Tamiya speed gearing, 68 tooth speed gearing. 25 tooth pinion uh, 48 dp i'm using my believe it or not armor uh, boost motor and i think it's a 60 amp ese a spectrum 651 servo yeah racing steering yeah yeah racing turnbuckles uh fully ball raced all through um obviously uh the back diff has been all uh, lubed and greased so is the front Locked the front up a little bit. Um, done all the suspension and the shocks and everything. Uh, filled them full of oil. So give it a first run now. Put the egg cam on and go for me. So oh, we're going to be using these little light bulbs. Z's 2200s. It's a brush motor, so I don't expect to get great great run time out of these. But AO is what I had on hand and connectors wise. That's what I got. Um, I haven't run a Tamiya in a long, long time. Um, since I was probably a little boy, to be honest with you. And as I mentioned in the first video, when we introduced this car to the channel, um, as well as... There you go. Um, this really was kind of my introduction, the, the Tamiya platform, to, um, to uh, RC cars. So it's got a bit of... Uh, historical come homage come i mean like i say the car was something that i idolized when i was a little boy and uh i'd be interested really just to see how it fares up <laughs> it's all over the shop bit of drifting It's not terribly slow, I'll be honest with you. I'll turn steam rate down, I know that much. That back end bobs run terrible. I think we need better tyres in this spine, but there you go. Whoop, and that's the battery out. I knew that was going to happen. And again. Adapt and overcome, guys. I had a glove in my bag. Don't know why I had a glove in my bag, mine, but uh, that should keep the battery in. Fair job. Tell me your body posts are a pain in the backside. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it works a lot better than I anticipated. Let's put it that way. It's never going to break any speed records, but um, I'm sure you can get this going pretty quick, especially with a brushless uh, setup. But um, for the moment, why not? Right, let's try again. Let's try again. Let's go. I, uh, that's probably low 20s. Let's go. 
Yeah, uh, bobbing around. Doesn't like that corner. Whoop, and that's a wall. Well, it's not quite going to code in the plan, guys. There you go. Let's get my screwdrivers out. It's good fun for most. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a it's a hobbyist car. Um, this isn't a basher. Um, this is a basic touring car with a basic basic uh, brushed setup and stuff in there. Um, there you go. We got better steering again. It's just a bit of fun. Will I keep it? Not sure. Have I enjoyed building it? Yes. There you go, we got proper steering again, that was better. <laughs> and it's quite quite nippy for a brush car. case of do you know when you meet your heroes um, they don't always turn out to be superheroes they're more like sometimes villains well you know this is maybe the case for this so we got steering uh, we have got a wonky wheel so this back wheel and as you noticed you've got no front drive brilliant so all that hard work for what 20 minutes and my fault but the wing keeps coming off so I need to stick that down better but um, yeah looks like I'm gonna have to take it apart find out what's wrong um, brilliant what do you reckon Grace yeah <laughs> it, it wasn't that that good when it started driving monkey no I know I know so it's uh, future Chris here, um, <clears throat> just to let you know, going forward in the future to come back and give you this news, but uh, no, lo long story, do you know when you've, you know, had a childhood hero that you think, oh, I'd love to be like him, or I'd love to be like her, whichever, <clears throat> well, 
that's how I'm feeling a little bit about this car to be honest with you. I've got a drive in the front now. Um, I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, we've got no drive at all, basically. So I'm going to have to have a look at that. Um, we've also got some bent stub axles. And yeah, just, I don't know. A little bit disappointed because I was really hoping for a bit, a bit of tarmac fun with this car. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. So before I pass judgment on the TTO2, alright, um, I was thinking to myself, well, that can't be right, there's plenty of people using them, plenty of people enjoying them, there must be something not right here, and so I thought, right, sun's nice, sit out the back, and just strip the car down, and, and basically try and find out what was wrong with it, now, numerous problems, um, and mainly because I hadn't built the kit myself, I think it was... Part of the reason why I, I haven't spotted these things. No, I'm gonna dive down on the table and show you <laughs> dramatic difference, guys. All right, so it's uh, quite an interesting video this one, I think. But um, maybe this will teach some people uh, when when buying a kit like this not to go out and purchase some of the stuff you see on like Amazon, eBay, and it's what I would class as Chineseium. Um, if it's not made by let's say Tamiya or respectable brands like Air Racing. Maybe stay away from them, guys, and I'll show you now. What I've pulled out of the car, um, and I've gone back to kit spec, so let me just show you, all right? We've gone back to kit spec, drive shafts, um, drive shaft cups. We've gone back to stub axles. Uh, we've also changed the uh, drive shaft, center drive shaft cups out, um, obviously go in, and it's, it's, the whole car just seems a lot more positive. Cheap. Chinesium looks pretty, um, for example, but the tolerances are really bad. Oh, hang on, let me turn the car off. The tolerances are really, really bad. Um, these were flapping about in the car. That one has actually snapped. Let me show you, and that was the reason why we're having wheel wobble. All right, so there's that one. Drive shafts, no, these weren't too bad, I'll be honest with you, but um. Yeah, so so. CVDs on the front, these were a terrible fit. Really, really bad. So again, got back to kit spec. These these nuts, horrible. Absolutely horrible. Uh one of them had even stripped out. Let me see if I can find it. There you go. So that one had actually stripped. Just cheap, nasty Chinesium. So I've gone back in, greased everything back up with the Tamiya grease. Um and to give you an idea. And I'm probably going to run this again now. So let the car start up. You can see steering's all positive now. Um, there's less movement in, in the actual. Very, very little. Um, hardly anything in the back. The wheels are all nice and true. So the only thing I would recommend, so this is Yeah Racing, uh, the the Stephen Ackerman, um, that was all right. Dry shaft, no issues there, but that was actually just flapping about and just moving back and forth and doing whatever they wanted to do. Yeah, quite a big difference. Coming to a different location, um, and basically, I'll just spin the camera around quickly as you can see. It's a nice flat car park, so we're going to give it a go in there. Um, I'm quite confident now, basically, that the car should be running properly. Um, so, yeah, going to stop the video by you.
I think that's actually solved the problem now with the TTO2. Um, don't buy cheap Chinese upgrades for the cars, guys. If you're going to go and get upgrades for something like this, go for a reputable brand, yeah, racing, that sort of thing. Um, and to be fair, a load of fun actually, about, even though it's brushed. Um, quite impressed. It's a bit of a turnaround, really, from how it was earlier on. Um, I knew there was something up, but I just couldn't put my finger on it. Um, but obviously not knowing that chassis um, It was hard not to pass judgment at the time because how bad it was but uh, there you go guys anyway Hope you're enjoying obviously all the videos make sure you like share and subscribe until next time guys stay safe